Hey everybody, Mike Chipperini here from Chippers Island. And right now I'm headed to um, Conway, New Hampshire. And I'm going to do a big loop through New Hampshire, then down through Vermont. And uh, this is the next Chippers Island adventure. So we'll see how it goes. Should be a good time. I'm going to meet up with a couple military friends, or at least one. And it uh, should be a lot of fun. So as I leave Gloucester, Massachusetts, headed to New Hampshire, it's not a, sh a long ride to get to New Hampshire and get up to the parks. That's the nice thing about New England. You cross over states pretty quickly. Here I am pulling into the park ranger office so I can get a pass for the camping. And I'm going to pick up a 62 and over pass since I'm eligible. Barely, I might add. And um, this will give me a discount at the campgrounds and entry into any of the parks. Hey everybody, I'm up here in the Passa Conaway Campground, which is a federal campground here in um, Kangamangas Highway in New Hampshire. And I'm getting ready to walk over to an old army friend, his campsite, and he's the host here. He and I were stationed in Augsburg, Germany together back in the day. His career field was, he was a uh, Morse code copier and those guys when they copy Morse code, they're copying Morse code at a very, very fast rate of speed. My career field, I was taught how to copy Morse code. And we got up to like 18 groups a minute. And we copied it with a pencil. Whereas his career field was totally dedicated to Morse code. And they would copy, my God, 50 groups a minute or something. So it's pretty fast. And uh, I would hear it and it would just be like... Burr, burr. But so this is their campground and they are host here and it is Bill French and Paula and I'll introduce you to them in a moment and my campground is right over here in the trees and I think I I hear Bill coming now let's see here he comes now because he and his wife Paula are the host and here he comes so like I said, he and I were stationed together over in Augsburg, Germany during the Cold War days. We were over there from, um, he was there in 83, right when I got there, he left there around 87. I stayed till 1990. And here we are coming into his camp. So we're over here with Bill and Paula. And there's Paula, Hello. the hostess with the mostess. Yeah. And here's Bill opening up a Späten beer, yes. which is yeah. a beer out of Germany. And it was left over from my reunion party of the same soldiers who <laughs> served where we're talking about where we served in Augsburg, Germany. So we're going to kick back and have a little beer as we sit around the fire. Morning everybody. This is uh, about 8 o'clock here at the Pass of Conaway campground on the Kangamangas Highway in New Hampshire. Right now I just made coffee. What I have for coffee a coffee maker is my cure. As you can see, I have my K cups inside. And um, now I'm going to make a little bit of uh, granola with yogurt for breakfast. It's a nice little healthy breakfast. I swap it around with eggs and toast. And um, then we're going to do a little bit of uh, walking about. So, I'm going to take a little walk about and um, show you a little bit of the campground. These places, no hookups at all. So I've been boondocking 
And as you can see, I didn't even put the slide out. Because it's just me, I didn't feel it was necessary. And I'm only staying one day, and then I'm moving over to Vermont. But as you can see, the spaces, well, the sites are pretty spaced out. And woodsy. So, I'm just going to walk about. There's not a whole lot to see here. But uh, it's very nice, very quiet, very peaceful. And with no cell signal. So up here you are isolated a bit. But that's fine. I'm not going camping every time to have full-blown TV and all the other amenities that we take for granted. Sometimes it's nice to shut down. And that's exactly what I did here. And pretty soon we'll be taking a little hike out to Sabaday Falls, which is supposed to be very pretty. And we'll see what that's all about. And that's it for now. So, these campsites are um, federal park. So if you have a pass, like a senior citizen 62 and over, or if you have a uh, disabled veteran, something of that nature, I'm not sure what's available through the park system, but staying here a night with one of those passes is only $12.50. And I gotta tell you, that's pretty good. Compared to other parts of New England where New England sites can be a bit on the high side. And most of it is probably due to supply and demand. But uh, it is quite nice here, just down the street in Ossipee. I know they have a few campgrounds here, but they are not as spacious as this. They are not as quiet as this, but they have pools and um, they have all the hookups and a lot of other activities going on. Whereas this is more for people, I believe, who are just trying to get away and enjoy the quietness of nature. And it sits right on, I believe, the Smith River. And the Smith River probably is a river during the um, winter months, spring months, or the wet months, whatever they may be. And right now, it is a river, but I don't think it's half as half as full as it can be. I'm going to show you that now. Through the trees, you can see a lot of these rivers in New Hampshire up in the mountains, they really start to flow when the snow's melting and when you have heavy rains. So, that's the Pass of Conaway campground. It's a first come, first serve, by the way, I should add. And last night was a Thursday night, and it got a little chilly last night, probably got down about 46 degrees, and um, there were only about six sites available when all was said and done. So, and I'm at site number 20. Okay, so I'm gonna take a quick walk down to Sabaday Falls. It's about a quarter of a mile. About 0.3 miles, which isn't too far. I need a little exercise this morning. And this place here, apparently, bunch of workers were working on the road and they decided to call it quits on Saturday so they put all the tools away and they named the place Sabbath day as in Sabbath day and um, so we're gonna take a quick walk down here like I said it's only about a quarter of a mile it sounds nice I hear a lot of water flowing and I've never been up here so this should be interesting and this is the path leading down. Looks 
like a nice brook going through the woods. We'll check that out. And um, let's take a look at this. Let's see what we got. To me, this is just a really lovely New Hampshire river and uh, right now obviously it's more like a big brook but apparently during the rains and everything this thing gets flowing. A lot of nice little benches. Here's the river. So I guess this any this path here leads down to the falls, whereas the other path is a longer hike along the trail. So we gotta come down this path here. I love this stuff. Just something, it's right off the road. Nice little morning hike, not too far. And here we are. I'm going to relocate up this trail of granite steps to get a better vantage point. I think I could have made it up over the falls on the side, but I really didn't want to slip with a camera in my hand. So this seemed to be the better alternative. So. Absolutely beautiful. So here we are at Sabaday Falls, and I gotta tell you, it's a very short walk from the parking area, and just a beautiful sight. And the, uh, I don't know, there's no words for this. If you're ever up on a Canyon Mangus, definitely roll in here. Take the short hike up, it's not hard at all. It's .3 miles, which is roughly a quarter of a mile one lap around a track and it is worth it. So, 
trails a nice little walk and really and truly that's pretty much why I bought my my Integra Odyssey and and that's why I bought the uh, Integra Odyssey so I, I could go to places like this stay cheaply and uh, park easily go up and see the things I want to see and this is over here she's parked nice and neat no worries and uh, the parking here is free but you have to have a pass which is only a couple bucks for the day and if you camp here and you pay for your campground you get the pass with the campground so I was good to go on that at any rate, so that's the Sabaday Falls. We're going to get on the road and head down to Lincoln and then up to uh, Littleton, New Hampshire. So we're going to continue our trek across the Kangamangas and then uh, up into the top part of New Hampshire and cross over into Vermont. Yeah, I just wanted to hit this little rest stop. Beautiful vista.